I want to try getting the the achievements I don't have, and that includes the the endless mode, getting an SS rank at least. So I want to try that. I, I just wanted to try that because I felt like it. And since this is a stage that doesn't have bosses and only has enemies, like normal enemies, I want to try a shot type like this one that is very spread out. See how it goes. Hey Blue, how is it going? I'm not using Blue here, I'm using Magenta. But yeah, close enough. Wait, how do you play this game? <laughs> Oh, I think that, yeah, the bomb button activates hyper and then you have a focus that that is based on meter. Yeah, that, that's how it works. That was the way. Here you get the, the hyper super fast. I don't know what the hyper of this thing even is. Oh yeah, it, it fucking sucks, that's what it is. <laughs> Well, that's fine. In this endless stage, the hyper is not important because of the hyper itself, but rather because of the overdrive that you're gonna get very often. So, yeah. Hey Kyle, how is it going? I'm following your example and becoming a completionist. I'm just kidding, it's just that the remaining achievements for this game are all achievements that I feel like I should get. But yeah, uh, that's the reason. Nothing more, nothing less. But yeah. I don't know if this ship is gonna be very good for this, but anything that has long range has to be good. Or at least decent. I want to see how it looks fully power up. So far... They are not dropping as many power-ups as I would like. There is another shot type that I think that has a lot of spread and it's called Orange. I think. I don't know. But yeah, I want to... To use something like that, or this, see how it goes. There is also some very weird achievement about getting all of the hidden medals in a stage. I didn't even know those were a thing, but the problem is that I never saw one. Um, I mean, I, I saw someone describe them, but I don't know. That, that achievement might be annoying to get, but I will try. Now we have overdrive. The, the overdrive with the ER rate, of course, wouldn't be an overdrive otherwise. It's very loud. It's quite loud. But yeah, now that you mentioned Continuum Shift, um, unfortunately I wasn't able to import my save from PlayStation 3. I mean, I know that that's something very obvious, that you can import a PlayStation 3 save into a Steam game. It will be like, yeah, no shit. But I had some hope that I would be able to. But no, I can't. Cannot make it happen. That's a shame. But at the same time, I guess if at some point I feel like streaming Blaze Blue Abyss, it might not be a bad idea, because starting from scratch will probably be more interesting than starting with everything unlocked, <laughs> so... But yeah, it's a shame. It didn't work.
But I don't remember is Chrono Phantasma what I have unlocked in that game. Because I also played that game on PlayStation 3, but then I think I did play the PC version. But I don't know how much I play the PC version, that's the thing. Use my Abyss Guide. I don't need to, do. You know that... I've been able to get all of that on my own. Basically, you just need to keep playing until you unlock the unlimited item and then you pick Taokaka and that's it. You spam double quarter circle backward uh, B and you do that super where she summons a lot of kitties. You do that and that's all you need to do. Nothing else. That super is so broken. You can just keep spamming it, the CPU will keep dying to it. Well, not to mention that you can also... That you can also use a standing D and it's an unblockable. <laughs> but essentially what I'm saying is that Taokaka Unlimited is broken. And quite ironically, she's the first opponent you fight in Unlimited Mars. They're yeah, pretty nice of them to do that. Very, very cool. Amazing, even. But it would be nice is if the game told you the inputs for the hidden supers that the unlimited forms have. Because you have to basically guess, or well, Google them, I guess. <laughs> that, that, that works too. But yeah, you have to guess them. Thankfully for all the characters that I care about, I've been able to guess them all. <laughs> so, that's cool. After all, it's not like there is a uh, Myriad of possible combinations. Usually, Blaze Blue only have a specific set of combinations for the uh, for that. For the, the supers. Getting hit. That works pretty well. We need a little bit of healing just to, you know, just to be full health. Not like it's necessary, but it will make things. In me. Wait, what? Oh, Arakune? Uh, I didn't try him, but I don't like Arakune. Well, I don't like Taokaka either, but at least Taokaka is so stupid that, you know, it's at least funny. But I guess there is some comedy in Arakune's bullshit as well. No, I didn't do the, the latest difficulty in this game, but I don't really want to. I mean, it's not an achievement, and it takes a long time that i rather spend on something else. Unless you meant Blaze Blue, in which case, yes. <laughs> You mean Calamity Trigger? Yeah, I did beat it. The other day. Ah, 
dark holes. Okay, I'm getting hit by by everything. Yeah, this might might be over. I'm not sure. I'm still full power somehow, and my health is actually not that bad. But I have my doubts. And again, I don't know how much I'm supposed to survive this. So. I'm not a, a very big fan of those lasers. Take a long time to fuck, to blow up. When I say blow up, I mean fire. It's not exactly the same. And look at those bullets. Yeah, I'm thinking that I am a hundred percent dead. Maybe not a hundred percent. There are so many enemies on the screen that they overlap. down quite a bit. Yeah. I don't know if that was good enough for an SS. Oh, it was! I got an SS. I mean, the, the achievement spoiled me. <laughs> nice! That's how you get an SS. I, I think there is one more rank. Like, you can get a triple S, but this is the one that you need for the achievement. So I guess, you know, it's the one that, um, that matters. <laughs>